The Ministry of Health announced the addition of 92 cases of Omicron. Thus, the total number of COVID-19 cases of the Omicron variant in Indonesia reached 254. The Ministry of Health said that the majority of cases of the Omicron variant were still dominated by travelers from abroad or imported cases. However, the National COVID-19 Handling Tax Force emphasized that the government did not completely close the door to the arrival of travelers from abroad, even though the transmission of the Omicron variant of the coronavirus continued to increase. The spokesperson for the COVID-19 Tax Force, Suiku Adisasmito, say the government would continue to open the door for international arrivals, especially for Indonesian migrant workers, due to various considerations, such as citizen rights and diplomatic relations. However, we could appeal to Indonesians to postpone their overseas trips if they were not urgent. Pertama, upaya yang dapat dilakukan di pintu kedatangan luar negeri di antaranya mengatur arus kedatangan pelaku perjalanan. Hal ini menjadi penting mengingat kepadatan pelaku perjalanan dapat berpengaruh pada semakin besarnya peluang kasus importasi masuk maupun penularan antar penumpang. Pembatasan pintu masuk luar negeri bagi WNA maupun WNI yang saat ini hanya melalui tiga pintu kedatangan untuk moda udara, tiga pintu kedatangan untuk moda laut.